I may start a little earlier, I may start a little later, but somewhere around that area. Um, but I'll definitely stream Monster Hunter try, I mean, try three ultimate tomorrow because I am going to, once I'm done with this tonight, I'm actually about to go ahead and try and get this Rath this Rathalos plate I'm missing. I'm doing a lot more gaming right now, at least this, for this week for sure, I'm doing a lot more gaming. Um, just as I need, I need to, just, I haven't done a lot of gaming like this in a while. I've been playing mostly, I've been just focusing mostly on fighting games. And so I feel like I need to just like really do some, some, some good gaming. Um, but yeah, I'll be, you know, I'll be here. And then Sundays will be devoted to drawing. So Sunday I'll be on here most of the, I won't say most of the day, but I'll be on here for quite a while drawing. Um, Sketch Proof will probably come by and he'll be popping it out of the stream. So. Yeah, my DeviantArt is probably going to, I got to catch my DeviantArt up, but it's probably going to be, it's probably going to be barren for a while. I won't even lie about it. I got to get in the mood to like really post on DeviantArt again. Right now I just kind of feel like it's almost kind of dead so I'm gonna see I gotta put something up there and I'll probably once I post this blog about my art thing or whatever my my art direction and what I plan to do I'll link to that so people will know um but the other thing is the reason I haven't posted that blog yet is because over the last couple of days I've been thinking about it I don't think that's my problem I think I am an illustrator but I just think I realized that I gotta do it more for me as far as personal and what the projects I want to work on so I do think I'm easing back on like being this all-around illustrator, like where I do everything, because my focus is my writing, but I'm not like quitting drawing, and I don't want to make it, it, right now the way I wrote it makes it seem like I'm quitting drawing, and I don't want to make it sound like that, so I'm considering how to reword it, I'll probably have it reworded by uh, the end of the weekend, and then post it up, like I did the other one about gaming, um, Injustice looks pretty good, it looks pretty pretty good, it looks fun, I'm, I'm interested, I say pretty good because I wasn't really, um, I wasn't really into Mortal Kombat 9 fighting system and it does look similar to that because I mean obviously because it's made by the same dev but it does like it it, it switched some things up that I didn't like like the input system and stuff like that so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try and see you know I'm gonna give it an honest try um, I haven't got the demo yet so I gotta get that and then my buddy uh my buddy in here right now I think he's still in here that great one he's gonna bring it by yeah see there you go that great one popped up as soon as it got mentioned that's what I'm talking about we need this kind of listen to you. It's crazy. Can't wait to play in this week. Listen to you, Poker Fanatics. <laughs> That's us. That's me. Man, it's it's rare to get in these Pokemon conversations. Like these are the conversations that me, Marvel, and Two Piece had. Man, I'm telling you, these Pokemon conversations. Oh my goodness. It, it, look, I'll say this like this: When I moved out here to Arizona, I thought I was gonna be the only one that was really into Pokemon. And then I met like you know the guys over the PC house, where you where you lived at and everything. And then I was like, okay. They were cool, and then they slowly started moving away. So then once they started moving away, I had nobody. And then I don't even know how it happened, but me and Marvel started talking about it one day, and I was like, "I found a kindred spirit! Oh my god! I thought I'd never see somebody that knew anything about Pokemon and played it." And we started, and then talked to two piece about it. And it was just, it was that was it. So when I play this game, like when I tell you I'm a huge fan of this series, and I play this game, and I love it. Uh, that's not me blowing smoke. <laughs> I'm serious, like, cause for like even before I moved out here, like when I was back in Michigan, I had like aside from my cousins who stopped playing it, I had nobody to talk to about this about this series. I had no one. I, I was pretty much just it was either I talked to people online or I was just pretty much insular. I had nobody to discuss this game with. I love Pokemon. I don't and. You can tell me the series is stale or they need to change it or it's for kids or whatever until you're blue in the face. I do not care. I freaking love the main RPGs, mind you. Not the little side games and this, that, and the other. I have a marginal appreciation for the anime or uh, whatever. All that stuff, you can talk about that all you want to. I don't care. The main Game Freak slash Nintendo RPGs that come out every two to three years... Yeah, no. These, these are yeah. <laughs> I love it, love it. And I and I will do whatever I can to convince you that it's at least decent. I'm like, hey, give it a try. It's, it's not as, you know, the packaging is very, very all ages and very safe because it's Nintendo. That's what they do. They love safe all ages except for very few products that they have now. You know, and and that's good. That they're branching out, but they're, you know, this 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 packaging is a very safe all ages thing. But that kind of gives that that idea of like it's completely 
completely kitty. Kind of like the, the mentality I have about MLP, which is unfair because I've not watched it. it you know, Loon talked to me about that. I'm like, you know, that's not, that's, you're right. That's unfair. I haven't watched it. I can't say it's, you know, completely for kids, right? And, and, and it's probably got an all-ages packaging, so I should probably give it a look, right? I'm feel the same way about Pokemon. It has a very all-ages approach. And don't get me wrong. The dialogue in the game, the story in the game, aside from, like, black and white, which has some interesting twists, it doesn't have something that's going to, like, oh, my God, this is epic. You're not gonna you're not gonna play a Pokemon game and walk away like with tears in your eyes. <laughs> you're not, it's not gonna do that. The the story is pretty much there as a means to just here's why you're doing this, go do it. But when you get into like the team aspect building of it, like the stats and whatnot, really breaking that stuff down, it's really it's a deep RPG. Uh, it's not even a, it's a it's an RPG and you get to build your team out of six hundred something odd different characters, some of them more rare than others. And that's how I look at it. And I, I fucking enjoy it. So there you go.